Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Micro City. Now today we have a excellent episode, we got a whole bunch of stuff to check out here. Uh, we've done a bit of building, we've done a bit of expanding, downtown is almost finished and we're about to move on to some uh, really cool projects. Now if you missed the last episode of Micro City, we did build an airport, or at least we started an airport. I'm going to flash it up in the top right corner if you want to check that out and then come back over and jump right into this episode. But yeah, we have a ton of things to check out here today. I do want to thank all the Discord members that sent stuff over. This episode wouldn't have been possible without you guys. I've been having some uh, issues recording Scrap Mechanic as of recent, uh, but I think I figured that out in time for this episode. And also, I do want to go ahead and congratulate Mr. Paper Cat for winning the Discord contest for the Micro Vehicles. We ran that episode last week. It was a little over a week ago. And he won the vote on that. Uh, we will be doing another Discord contest here really soon. But anyways, folks, if you are enjoying Micro City on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's jump right into this. Alright, so as far as what's changed, you're probably going to notice the whole fact that the skyline looks a little bit bigger now. Uh, we've added some things to it. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to add any more to the skyline. And I think this is it. I had a couple more fantastic items that I wanted to add as far as really tall buildings, but I think we're going to stop there. I'm actually looking for some more medium to small buildings uh, for the micro city. So if you have anything you want to submit, you can either email it to me or if you want to join the discord, there is a dedicated section for the micro city. So we're probably actually you can see it right there. I was like, we're probably going to check out what the video is titled. And of course, we have trains in the micro city. I did tease it last episode. I just had to figure out a way to get it into the Micro City. Now I have to give a huge shout out to Mr. Kroka. He is, he's like one of my go-to train guys. Uh, with the, I think it was the underwater base, he created a train system in there that was fantastic. And he asked if he could do a train system for the Micro City. Now I know some other people are working on trains and I'm not saying this is gonna be the final system uh, because technically I think we could have multiple loops. This is like a, uh, this is morely a normal train loop. I would like to see a monorail system at some point. Uh, but yeah, we've got a train here. Now the train, I'm letting it go on its own, but we can actually drive it. I'm actually going to take it off here. Uh, I know it's leaning over a bit. It kind of does that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I set it to, uh, to where the engine's just going and it would loop around. It's kind of cool. This feels uh, kind of like a diorama or something. Or like one of those miniature train sets and you're watching the trains go around. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go over to the other station. I'm going to call the other station the main station. And then we'll go through this area and show you guys what's all new. Alright, so we are on the right side of the downtown district. Now this is where the downtown district ends. And the water begins. I'm not going to build any more to the right side here. Because we have the train tracks, the airport, and the cargo harbor over here. And that just seems like it needs to be on the outer end of the city. Now, I talked about doing like an Alcatraz Island or something, or maybe a statue. Uh, we could still do that, but anything else is not going to go over here. Uh, but what we have, this is a train station. I do want to thank Mr. Croca, like I said, uh, amazing talent when it comes to doing these trains. Uh, he gave me just basically a train set. He said, here's a station, here's the different track pieces that you can lay out. Which, by the way, we have one loop. It's kind of temporary. I'm trying to figure out a little bit better way to integrate it into the city because we're going to have to do some crossings and stuff. But uh, we do have a complete loop here and it's using all the modular parts that he's provided. So yeah, this is a cool little train station. This reminds me of like an old timey train station, which a lot of times in like metro areas, you'll see something like this because uh, most cities were developed around trains. So the original stations, a lot of times are just historic buildings. So that's why we have this old looking train station. Now you can see in, it's got some detail. It's got the little uh, stairs going up out to the station platform itself. Uh, there is some ways to go down and you'll, you can emerge on the other side here. So there is two train tracks. Uh, this isn't just one. The trains actually set on these blocks. So in theory, you can have one going one way and one going the other way, which it looks kind of cool uh, if you have that happening and you're not driving them. Uh, it does get a bit laggy when they pass each other because of the bearings, but uh, it actually holds up pretty good. Now, as far as the track, it does go completely around the city right now. Like I said, uh, kind of a temporary, some of it's permanent. Some of it does feel like it's in the right spot, but some of it feels maybe a little bit odd. 
But yeah, uh, you can see it go around. The city is going to expand out. It's not going to be all on like this bridge platform. Uh, there will be land here. Hopefully by the next episode, there will be an extra block right here. And we'll have some more buildings. But as far as the train itself, now let me go ahead and pull one of them out. He sent two of them over. He sent one that looks morely like a, uh, a metro train that you would see in the city. And then he's got one of those uh, Santa Fe, I think it's a Santa Fe train. Uh, he's got a name for it. Let me go down here. Uh, like I said, every time I uh, show my lift on these episodes, if you see your creation, I don't use it yet. It's not because I'm not going to use it. It's because I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to get some of this into the micro city. So yeah, he's got two trains here. He's got the JR205, which looks more like a metro train. You can see it here. Pretty cool looking train, but I have to say my favorite is this one here, the EMD F7. This looks like one of those little Santa Fe trains. Uh, we see these pass by where I live uh, sometimes. But yeah, you can drive these trains. So let's go ahead and put one out here. Now, of course, like everything Micro City, keep in mind the vehicles are a larger scale than the buildings, just so you can actually drive them. So yeah, the train is a little bit big, but uh, as far as trains, you're not gonna get too much smaller than this. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna set it on the tracks here. So we'll go right here. You wanna get it right in the middle here. I think we got it and we can lower it a bit. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna drop this. And <laughs> we've already derailed the train. Okay, let's try that again. All right, lower it. Yeah, I think we got it this time, so there we go. Now, like most Micro City vehicles, uh, this does have an invisible seat, so when you ride in it, you won't see the scrap mechanic character. But yeah, just get a look at that. That looks so awesome. It's like this charming little train. Uh, it is leaning over a little bit. It does lean, uh, but once it gets going, most of the times it'll pick itself up. It will occasionally lean over. But most, or at least I haven't seen it derail itself yet. So we're going to hop into here. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. So the one key is its horn. So if you come up to any crossings, you can hit that. Now, as far as making this thing go, it goes off the W key. So as soon as you hit the W key and you can see it kind of picks itself back up. This thing takes corners like a beast. Uh, normally, that's where a lot of scrap mechanic trains have problems, especially with multiple carts. But no, this thing is smooth. And this is just awesome. It's awesome being able to see a train of this scale in the city. So this loop, it goes all the way around. This is the spot of the loop where I'm not 100% satisfied with it because it feels a little out of place. Uh, we do pass by the airport, which by the way, you can see some of the new additions to that. Uh, we'll go over that here in a second. But this thing goes all the way out. Now I do know, say if there was a landmass on the other side of the main bridge, this would make sense because we could travel over there. You could probably have a bridge that lifts up if cargo ships need to pass through or any ships. But I made it loop around since we don't have landmass on the other side of the bridge, which I'm trying to think if that's something that we would want to do in the future. Instead of expand the city out really huge, uh, maybe start some land on the other side and maybe do some low density residential. I'm using uh, city skylines terms, by the way. Uh, but do something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But anyways, we're going to drive this around to the other side of the station. We'll kind of pass by the, uh, the whole downtown district. Alright, I totally just didn't move this train over to this side. That way I can speed this process up. It does take a bit to get uh, across this whole loop. Now, he does have track pieces that you can actually make switches. So say if you wanted to make a different loop, you can switch the track, uh, track and say go somewhere else. So that is uh, really cool. Now, like I said, we have another train system. I know some Discord members have been working on some other ones, and I will be trying those out in the future. Uh, maybe just adding them to the city. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, this is uh, really cool. I want to thank Mr. Croca. Now, I got to give another shout out here to, and I don't know how to say his name because I think it's just, to me, it's just a bunch of letters put together. It's like I-E-R-D-N-A-100. Uh, he actually took the micro city, he downloaded the map from the previous episode, and he's the one that actually went out and kind of just completed the airport, and I think he added a, uh, a radio station and a tower out here. So we're about to go check that out, we're gonna park here at the other train station. Uh, you still see some of the track, is pretty temporary. But yeah, all the train does, it does go all the way around the buildings, and then it goes on the back side, we'll see the track once we go into the downtown district. But I thought that was a cool uh, little concept. Uh, it's still a work in progress to me. 
at the moment. If you guys have any suggestions about the train and what you would like to see more of uh, with the trains, let me know down in the comments below. And we'll try to work on what we can here. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, we're going to go ahead. We're going to walk over to the other side of the micro city here. Uh, go ahead and give you guys another look at the skyline. We have two new, uh, I would call them towers. We've got two new buildings. You've got this one over here, and then you've got that tower, which I know this has become a competition amongst Discord members, but that is now the tallest tower in the uh, city here. It's actually bigger than the Komodo America building, which, by the way, you guys were, uh, I loved watching the comments that you guys, uh, we're putting up last episode about Komodo America being some sort of evil corporation that has taken over the city, which I must say I kind of have to agree with you. Uh, we actually have another Komodo America building. But anyways, uh, we're going to go over here and quickly check this out. Uh, this is the airport from the last episode. Now, the airport now has a whole lot more going on for it. Uh, we have a lot of signage now, which makes, a, makes more sense than what it was. Uh, last episode, it was pretty bare. Uh, I had gotten the terminal together, I got one runway, the tower, and a vehicle bay. But you guys have come in here and actually kind of fixed this thing up. Uh, we've got a new parking garage, which by the way, the parking garage is, I believe, the correct scale to where you can fit some of the vehicles in it. I don't think you can go up to the second level. Uh, there is a ramp over there, but I don't think you're going to be making that turn with any of the micro vehicles. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty cool look little uh, parking garage. Uh, this was something, I actually mentioned this the last episode, and one of you guys had built this. Well, the name I had mentioned earlier, the LER DNA 100, he had went in here and actually uh, kind of finished this airport up. But yeah, this is the top of the parking garage. It's actually quite huge. It's got three levels for cars, so if you're coming to the airport and need to drop off a car, you can go here. Uh, he's got the signage. You can see where it says garage, drop off, departures. Uh, you get the staff. Uh, I guess we're going to call that the staff parking lot over there. Uh, we can walk around to the back of the terminal now. And yeah, he's added some things. Uh, we've got a new runway. Uh, it's actually this cross runway here. So I don't think we really need to add any more of those. Uh, this one's kind of cool because it's actually slanted a bit. So say if you're coming in from that side, you can land here. So I think as far as runways, we've got it covered. The only thing I need to add is some hangars. But other than that, I believe the airport is pretty well complete. And uh, one thing he did add, he added to the top of the... Uh, Air traffic control tower. He's got a little spinning antenna up there. Uh, this was the air traffic control tower tower that I uh, built last episode. But yeah, overall, really happy with the way this airport looks. It looks really awesome when you're up on top of one of the skyscrapers and you look this way and look down at all the little buildings and stuff. Uh, really awesome. But yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to move over to the downtown district and start to show off some of those new buildings. Alright, so as far as new buildings, these are from Discord members. This is uh, the radio station. This is from the guy who went and actually modified the map and the airport. He added this radio station, which is 101.5. I don't know exactly which music it plays. I I'm really a, a rock type lover when it comes to music. I love rock music, uh, but I'm pretty sure my audience, it's probably a wide variety of music that you guys like. So you've got that. He also added, and <laughs> I thought this was just funny, he added the Ubisoft tower. And I don't know if this is a, a joke or if this is an actual tower, but every time I see the Ubisoft games, they always have these towers to where you can unlock another part of the map or see the little objects on the map. So I thought that was kind of funny. So you've got that. Uh, there's the train station. Over here, this is the LA Hotel. This is a nice little hotel that has been built. Let me go and pull out my lift here. Uh, this is by one of our Discord members. Uh, let me find it up here. My lift is kind of a mess, by the way. All right, here it is. This is by Studio Bro. It's got a limo and a pool, and it's built with Texan pride, which he must know that I'm from Texas, and I think he's from Texas, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's a nice little hotel. I'm looking for more buildings like this. I like this size because it really complements the skyscrapers because you see that big contrast. And it, I don't know, it just makes the big skyscrapers pop. I, I really like the way it looks. I actually like the top of this building. It's like my favorite part. He's got this little pool area up here. He's got like a little garden area. He's got one over here. And then over here, he actually has a little bitty limo that we can jump into, I think. There we go. So yeah, he's got this little limo. That was This actually came with the lot. It was uh, had like a caution block on it. You just cut it off and you got the limo itself. So... 
pretty cool little limo. Uh, fits the micro city scale. Now you're gonna notice a little CG park in between these buildings. This is, was another Discord member that sent this. Uh, this was by, let me find it, it's right here. Uh, I'm assuming that's Call of Duty Master 79. And it's just this little park. It actually matched the parks that I built in the downtown district, like the really heavy part. And he built like this little park here, which it's CG park. And I thought it fit actually quite nice in between these buildings. So you got that, you got like a little playground area and you got the trees. So to me, it kind of blends in nice with the other buildings. I almost didn't notice it here because it's just something that I stuck in between and it just kind of camouflages itself in. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and go over to the other side here. All right, as far as new streets that I'm working on, I'm about to send this street out. And I think I'm going to send the street out this way and complete this block. And then I'm going to get to the railroad tracks. And that's where I'm either going to have to make a bridge or a crossing. Uh, we're by the big Komodo America Tower, by the way. And you can see where I built this road out this way. This is going to be another crossing here. So I need to figure out how that's going to work. I have an idea that it won't disrupt the train when this road goes over it or goes through it. But I'm going to need to, uh, I'm gonna need to work on that a little bit. Uh, I don't want to make any promises right now. But yeah, uh, we've got another building over here. We actually have another couple buildings. And check this out. This is by Garbuckle. Now, Garbuckle is a common name here in the mini city. He is the creator of the, uh, I think that's the first Canadian building. Uh, you've got that. And he's the creator of the Bruce Willis Tower. And I said I'm not taking any more skyscrapers, but he built one more and it came through my email. And I was, it was right at the time I said that. And it's this thing. Uh, let me pull this up on the lift real quick. This is the Royal Shard. This is made by Garbuckle. It's a skyscraper that stands at 130 floors. And I think, uh, I want to say this is now the tallest building. Komodo America was the tallest, but I think Komodo America was right around 110 to 120. Uh, this building actually looks really fantastic. Uh, it's not like most skyscrapers. Most skyscrapers have a pretty kind of square shape but this one it slants all the way up at the top so that had to have been a pain in the rear end to do I can imagine but yeah uh, you can see into the lobby the stairs that probably go up to the second floor maybe where the main lobby is and I don't know this kind of reminds me of not even really I guess you could say it maybe it's got like a hotel in it maybe some office buildings uh, I really would like to climb this thing and is this flat uh, somewhat. I think it's somewhat flat on this side. Let me try to get up this thing real quick because I would like to see the view of the city from here. Oh, here we go. Got it. Oh. Yeah, it is bare. It's not much bigger than the Komodo America. I tell you that. It's probably a couple more stories. I don't know. Do we count the towers? I mean, from top floor, like the actual top floor of the building, I think the Komodo America building is equal or maybe one or two higher. It's kind of hard to judge from this far over. But I guess if you take into account the tower, yeah, the tower is kind of massive. But yeah, check this uh, view out. That is so cool. You can see the airport, the train line. This will give you a better idea as to what the train line's like. Uh, there's the station that we started from. Wraps all the way around the back here, takes a corner. There's the train at the other station. And you can see it loop around. Pretty cool, you've got our little canal area, which is gonna stay water, but I'm gonna fill in these other squares around it, just to give you an idea what that's gonna look like in the future. Uh, there's some of the buildings we looked at last episode, the park areas that I built in between them. Uh, really nice looking, I, I love this. This is, uh, this is quite cool. Now we've got another tower standing right beside this. Let's go ahead and hop off here. Uh oh, uh oh, don't go there, oh, hey! We landed it, oh, I've gotta delete those seats. Dang it, <laughs> I should've deleted those on the way down. Anyways, we've got another couple creations right over here that we're going to look at real quick. Let's get my lift out. My old trusty lift. And let's see these. Uh, this creation here, I think this is a CN Tower, if I'm not mistaken. It's I don't know how we ended up with two buildings. I think they're both from Toronto. Let me uh, let me confirm that real quick. Yeah, this is uh, the CN Tower from Toronto. And it's like, how did we end up... Uh, Garbuckle built the Canadian place, which is in Toronto. I think it's the tallest or second tallest... A tower and then we have the CN Tower now and it's like I don't know how we ended up with both uh, this one's actually kind of cool I like the way he did this 
Now, this thing, it's just a tower. I, there is no real, I don't think there's much of an interior up there. It's morely just a little glass piece and the tower itself. But one of these ends, it's gonna be these two, actually it's two of them, are on a bearing. So these little points, they actually fold out. So when it's on the lift, they're actually together. But when you spawn it, they shoot out real quick. And I, at first I thought, oh, we're not gonna be able to spawn this or keep it in the city because of the bearings and the lag. But once it's settled out, this thing runs actually quite nicely. So yeah, I thought that would uh, complement the skyline a little bit, having some sort of like tower. Uh, so yeah, it looks really cool. That was uh, by Lego Mine 48 which I believe he sent us something before. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I'll give you guys a little closer look at the tower itself. Uh, very nice building. But yeah, on to the next building, which we're standing right by it. And I wasn't sure, like, I wasn't sure where to stick this. I, I kept thinking to myself, do I want to stick this in downtown or do I want to stick it somewhere else? Which I'm not sure if this is going to be its final position. But uh, yes, we do have a casino. And this is by Obi2 Kenobi. And this is the CA Casino. Yes, folks, Komodo America has struck again. We have a casino here. And <laughs> this is kind of cool. I like this building. It kind of makes me want to build like a Vegas area, like have a Vegas style strip. Uh, so this might be a temporary area for it right now. I'm not really sure. But look at this thing. Uh, really, really awesome looking. He's using the uh, neon pipes. Uh, from the Durf mods, you got the little CA building in the, that kind of Vegas style. Uh, it lights up. I have reached my light limit, so I really need to turn some stuff off to get the actual glow from this. Uh, you can see inside there's a little mini duck in there. Uh, I did build like a parking lot behind it. I need to, what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to duplicate that uh, parking garage that's in the airport. And I think I'm going to stick maybe one or two here in the downtown district because this is probably... Not enough parking back here for this area. So uh, it's a really nice looking building. I love the CA. I love the writing on it. It just looks really nice. Uh, several stories. It is the right scale. Uh, like I said, most of my stories run two blocks. Occasionally I can get away with three block stories, but you've got the, the block here. you got the window. The next block is the start of the next story. So I think I like the floor layout on this. Uh, really nice building. I think I'm going to actually add to this complex or I might build another casino and maybe we'll do like a Vegas style strip but very nice building now I've got some other stuff on my lift uh, that I haven't spawned in that I'll probably wait for the next episode I've got some stuff that I need to find the mods for uh, I don't know maybe I've missed a couple derf mods because there's a couple items in here uh, as soon as I can find them here that I need to get into the city that I know are gonna actually work out fairly good we got several items from like this mini city it's like a little uh, blimp, and I know it raises up, but I, apparently I've got a, a mod missing here. We got stuff like that. Uh, we got a lot of little houses that are gonna get spawned in here really soon uh, once we do a, a neighborhood. So yeah, you're gonna see a couple vehicles still on my lift that we're gonna go over here very soon. Uh, I think Lord Payne actually made a new mod, and it's got, or either that or he added to a mod. He's got really, really small wheels. Uh, he's been involved uh, a little bit in the the process as far as comment commenting and he even asked you know is there any mods that we would need for this and i think the uh the idea of smaller wheels like micro wheels came up to have really detailed a uh, little bitty wheels so i need to download that and uh, maybe get that in because i know either he's been working on it or it's already been released uh, but we're going to spawn in one of these and it's going to be this mini yacht uh, once again by garbuckle here so i want to see how this works so i picture this actually being cool. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, this is on, uh, this is actually on wheels. Okay, I wasn't sure if this was a hover yacht or if this was on wheels. Uh, some of these boats that I've seen for the Micro City set on these invisible wheels. Uh, but yeah, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and spawn this in. I'm pretty sure he's got this set correct here as far as the, oh yeah, you can't even tell. It's sitting there right on the water line. This is probably an easier way if you guys want to build like boats for the micro city opposed to uh, attempting to actually make it hover. I know non-Newtonian had that hover cargo ship, but this is actually pretty cool. I, I like this a whole lot. Here we are in the micro city bay. This looks so awesome. But yeah, I do want to thank you guys uh, for all the love and support on the micro city. Uh, I know this episode was a little bit more viewer creation based. Uh, by the time I was able to lay out the train rails uh, where I wanted them, uh, like I said, I've been having uh, some issues here in Scrap Mechanic. I think I've got them fixed. 
I was getting this, I mentioned it in the viewer creation episode the other day, I was getting this really bad blue flickering, and it, no matter what I did, it would start to flicker so bad, it was even hard to look at the screen, and it was catching in the recordings too. But I think I finally figured out those gremlins, it took some uh, settings uh, changed, I updated some drivers, and I was actually really quite afraid that we weren't going to get an, a Micro City episode out this weekend. So uh, this one's really dedicated to my Discord members or anybody that sent anything in. Uh, we will be covering more stuff here soon, and I will be building some more stuff here soon. So if you guys have any ideas for the Micro City, comment below. Uh, like I said, thank you guys for the love and support. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Uh, more Micro City will be coming soon, along with all of our other videos. But anyways, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.